I apologize. I'm really tired. I came back home from California to New York and my body clock is like three hours behind and I just feel and look exhausted. Um, I'm actually going through some stuff right now and storage that I'm trying to throw away. And one of the things that I wanted to present to you guys was a letters that you, the, the mental thing that you guys will probably go through from being in boot camp. Uh, since I've been in the fleet now, I have a different viewpoint on and different perspective on the way boot camp was. And the biggest thing that a lot of people struggle with while they were in boot camp was not being able to hear from loved ones. I had an experience while being in boot camp in terms of letters. I knew people who would get letters every day and I didn't get one until like weeks in, like maybe the fourth or fifth week I got a letter. And I actually got it from my recruiter and he was pretty awesome for that. And you would think it was random because I never gave him my address, but somehow he managed to find it and I really appreciate him for doing that. But I found a few of my old letters while I've been going through my old stuff. And I feel like don't be disappointed if you don't get any letters. You know, um, I knew people that I wrote to consistently and they never wrote me back. And it created a mental thing. And I'm telling you, once you join, you're truly going to realize who your friends are. You think that, you know, you go through high school, you go through that phase of who your friends were freshman year, who your friends, by the time you're seniors, are you still friends with them? And that is the same principle, except it's expanded this time. You will lose a lot of friendship, friendships, and it's going to happen, whether you like it or not. I mostly only got letters from my sister and my father. I received a letter from my recruiter and one of my old co-workers and my ex. And reading these letters really now, reading them, made me see things a lot differently. Like, it wasn't that bad, but when you're going through that and when you haven't been away from home for a while, it will be challenging. Just don't let what people, don't let the fact that if people don't write you, break you down and tear you apart. Because you're there to be a better you. You're there it's for a reason. You're there to get in, do what you're supposed to do, and get right back out. It's all what it is. You will, you will go through many different emotions while being in there. But if you actually keep your head up and don't let nothing tear you down, even if somebody's yelling in your face, don't let it tear you down. But I just wanted to bring up the letters, really. I feel like I'm a classic type of person. I prefer to write down my feelings versus actually calling or something like that. I feel like there's something special about writing. It's more heartfelt to me. And... um don't let it bring you down, no matter what.